Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day number three of the Player Unknown's Battlegrounds Gamescom Invitational 2017. My name is Sims, and joining me on the desk once again is Lauren Pansy Scott. And boy, oh boy, do we have a day <laughs> installed for you. We are now moving into duo first person. I think it's fair to say, Lauren, we're both very excited about this one. Cloud9, though, the swing back that they've had. Day one, they were they were nowhere, I've got to say. They were very quiet. They were, you know, are we see oh, we're seeing the snacks. We're seeing the snacky snakes. Is that a snake? We haven't actually seen the field of wheat finish, so I, you know that could be today. First person in the field of wheat. What is happening? That's, that's my idea of help. Please, please stop. Please no. <laughs> uh, but Honestly. anyway, going back to these rankings in in the long term, uh, these mean nothing as such. This yeah, is just yeah, a visual just so representation for you guys at home. Ball. All right, guys, we are now ready. The teams are chomping at the bit to get into this one, and it is going to be a northern drop, as we can see, heading right down from north to south, it seems. Maybe a little bit towards that ferry pier almost as well as the final destination, but it means that there's a lot available. They can land if they do the long swing all the way over, or they can go to the three garages on its own towards the west side. So a couple of players towards... Good old Pachinki, and this could be a Dren, actually. The CS boy is going for this one, and why not? This is very much their sort of caliber. This is the close call of combat I'd be expecting. You can't do that, because if you get singled out, you are going to get trashed. He sees one person, opts to not go for the gunshot until his teammate gets here. I like this play, just wait for a second. Yumru now takes his position. They're actually switching things up, so he's going to go back to the UF. Yuru comes in, that's Ollie. why you let him have it. That's going to be the K98 takes down just Ollie this. and picks him up again. Ding, Only ding, with the bye hollow. Bye. That is so impressive with the hollow there, just being able to cleanly do this sort of stuff. Yuru is really impressing me. These are hard shots to hit. They are not easy. You've got to be constantly moving at this elo, especially against people like Liquid, like Ollie. Um, you're not going to be getting away with people standing still. That's why the K98, when you bang those shots out, it is damn beautiful to watch. Oh, break, you Pretty are damaged. being a get, aren't you? Look at it. <laughs> this is the TSM that I expected to see. He should be geared up to the teeth. He should be fully geared, fully looted. They've taken the time to do this. Now, it means that they're going to have to get past everyone in the south here in quite a quick manner. You've got Anger still there. You've still got the Cloud9 guys. They're playing it late. They're saying, guys, do what you want. Now it's all kicking off. Now this circle's starting to crunch people and really do the damage. Yeah, let's have a little look at the circle if we can whenever we get a second to wait. Because uh, you, you've got to see where it's moving next to. Obviously, it's not going to favor the Godhouse. A lot of players dying out of the play zone, it seems. That people, again, if you're hesitant, if you're taking too long to get in here, you're just going to be easy. Easy pickings, and there it is. Stay in the blue too long. These guys have everything they need. Oh, great positioning for Spikey. He should land the shot. He's going in with the M249. Sprays him wildly. That's a good connection on the second. That's the shot you want. Evermore is down. They have been destroyed. Yunru and Evermore both get picked up. The M249 ringing true. Mazzarini just here for the ride, sitting in the backpack of Spike. And Spike's going for the revive, and I'm pretty sure there's a player right next to them. Yeah, it is. Oh, but what a turn from Spike. Hayes just got decimated. Great connection from Ninja, though. That AWM just lands the chest of solid FPS. Nothing to be done. Eight's alive now. The tripod on the end of it will come out. Wait, he can Ninja just lay it might down. be moving in towards some of the already pre-standing players. I'm curious if he thinks there's no one here. Aggression. No, he's going to run to Ninja! Oh, no! He went so for it. Close. He gave it all, but he made a mistake. He took the wrong choice out of the two. He didn't know which side would have had the two players to the one. He took the gamble. He didn't get the win he wanted. Looking for a connection. Did make sure he gets... He pushed him. He, he hit him pushed the, him out of the tree. Hit him in the head. He pushed him. So there goes down one. Now he can push aggressively. I don't think he's going to have time to get the other player up. Second grenade's going to go for it. Will this find its target? Let's find out. He's going to hard scope in as well as he does take a poke, but unfortunately doesn't find anyone. This is what I mean. Spike then going on the wide peak. He's going aggressive. He's going for it. He's, going to t he's just playing the time. He knows they'll be trying to revive. 16 bullets in the clip. And that's all he needs. Perfect play from Spike. Eight kills. Absolute dominance from the man. And showing exactly what one individual can do in this game, given the opportunity. But we are maybe ready. I'm not even going to get excited until I see them all in the plane. If I see one plane, if one player is tabbed out right now, I will go over there and just clip He'll them around you. the back. You don't know, make me leave this seat. Don't do this. Just tab in and just wait, chill out. You'll be good to go. Maybe they will try and push Novo, because if they come in late to Millie base, they could be in trouble, Pansy. Yeah, keep your eyes on... People looking at the roads, essentially, because they'll just go Novo. As soon as they see a car, just dive down early, get it, go. Um, that's probably what I'd say the Luminosity guys are doing. It'd probably be the better choice. There's not that much loot you otherwise around spinning, that area. Yeah, so I, I'd hope they're going to go for that. It's a good idea to get out um, as early as 
possible and just get that cargo Novo, get the safest loot you can. He's literally just at the door. He's right in between them. This could be huge. I, I don't... So many places. He's going to spot him. He's spotted him out. This could be pretty much done, though. You can see into the APR trying to respond to it. He does as well. Knocked down means another cl player close by. He gets the spot as well. Oh. APR. What a lovely bit from Lucy May, though. Coming around, at least gets the job done, but couldn't follow it up. The sustain not there, of course. Break with a quick revive. I don't know if there's anyone near close by or anything to be worried about. NPR should just go into the house for the safe revive. And because it's so damn high up and you do have that wall, it is quite hard to hit these guys. They can crouch down, especially because the guys are on the floor. You won't be able to see them. They can just bob and weave it. The need to. Oh, this positioning is filthy. Gassy Mexican oh. gets sprayed down, as does Curvy Llama. Those two finally made it out of the banana buildings, but got caught in the end. But these guys hadn't really moved either. Certainly contested, but they've already got their way out of there. They're going to beach that and move up, which is fair play, because they wouldn't have moved anywhere else. They would have been able to get taken down by Musical Weight. And unfortunately, though, that's going to be Interrogate taken down by Viss. Still getting tagged up. Idaculous knows that the players are there, so he needs to be careful. Will lean round, tries to get him through the window. It was an absolutely fantastic effort. Meanwhile, though, there's still this one-on-one -on -one battle. They're cracking at each of the left, right, and center. He does poke out. Will jump back again, tags him up, takes down Viss himself. And now we move Viss. into this one-on-one. -on -one. This is going to be crucial because whoever wins this can revive the teammate. He's gone for the spray. He's got the AK. It's so it takes one clip to just completely destroy any car. He knows it. Good work from Adaculus to adjust to the tree already. Smack needs to land this shot and fast. Oh! There it is! You Jesus. can bank your house on those sort of shots to come through from Smack. That's the consistency you can expect from a player of his caliber. On the buggy, making lots of noises so they give even more information. You're hearing the shots. If you can hear them, they can hear them also. Look how many people there's just yeah. over the ridge. Oh Three my teams God. all lined four. up. Make four. That four. Look, I knew this was a good position. I don't like seeing that many people there, but here C9 comes the kickoff. Arrive. They oh are so hard in this fight. I do not know how they've managed to survive this long, but the Blues moving in. He's got to run, but look at this fight. Everyone's terrified. But at the moment, if it works out for them, who am I to doubt it? I mean, maybe they know exactly what's oh, going he's on. Break Meanwhile, with the spray down. This is break. what I want to see. Stimmed up, he needs to move, though. He knows he's got to run his way in. Trying to go to the slow side of the close as much as he can. Stay as much oh. under this, because that double damage is coming in soon. He's going to just about make it prone down. Get to the grass, because you're going to see these shots coming in. As soon as someone spots you out, they want to take you down. Every bush, he's checking for it. Scoom wants to try and get another kill. Oh! He finds break as well. As well. Break, there's no rest for the wicked here, my friend, as the reload comes out and Scoom now looks for the next follow-up. Do you know what? Ninja, at least, is going to play as much as he can in this one. He's taking the aggressive fight. He spots out one, gets the tag, gets the frag. Stylish Noob goes down, but there's players everywhere. This is mayhem. How is he going to get out of this? Chipsy's under fire. Oh! oh! He delivers! Amazing! Somehow he's doing this. Two kills for him on the run now. Needs the crouch jump to come in. Needs to get to a bit of safety. Oh, God, the blue. This is absolute madness. He's murdering people. They're all moving forward. Amazing work from Chipsy to get that double. Does spray them down. There's four other players in this area with him. Look right, so Chipsy, spread. just to his right, we've got Jimmer. Two players still alive for Cloud9 as well. That's Solid FPS and Chappie. You've got to feel they're in a good position here as well, closest to the circle. So, <laughs> if you've never been in, this, in these situations before and you're oh, wondering God. how this works, essentially, there's going to be one point and the blue will close right to it. Everyone has to run at each other. So whoever's the most stim will have the most sustain. Or you just go for the kills as quickly as you can. And there's one. Chappie does find Jimmer. Now we're into a 2v1. This is outstanding stuff from this guy. Pure patience. And when that minimap updates, they have they spotted? I, so he actually, someone scoped in on the opposing side on this area. So I'm, I'm yeah, they have, yeah, they knew where he is. is. They did just catch the side of him. Solid FPS comes in. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Cloud9 take game number two. Just, they literally just saw the shoulder of him. Avenger poked out just, just a little too bit long. too much, and you kind of saw what he did. That one player scoped in, they both backed off, he called for some support, and then both of them like, okay, he's in this bush, just melt this kid. Game yep. two goes in their hands. Maybe a little bit too passive, a little too patient. The snake doesn't Look, always it was, win. It was that there. So yeah, there, kinda, was, a, there just, was enough to be seen. So, they kind of copped something at the start, and they both just pushed back on themselves and said, okay, we know exactly where you are now, my friend. We've been hunting you down for quite some time, but unfortunately, this time is over. You are over. Far too long. One more day of us talking nonsense at you. Thank you for being so supportive by it so far, by the way, guys. Actually, I'm going to take a, a little bit of time to thank everyone on Reddit, Twitter, wherever you've been, Twitch, chat, if I must. Again, see, this, I do like the way that people split. You can do that sort of thing, but that's too much. This should be an easy kill for Ollie. Ollie, what's going on, bud? He's, he's having a bit of a mare here. 
Sprays him. That's oh. what I expect. There it is, Ollie. This is the guy who used to he dominated the early days of this game. I need to see more of this from this man. Go on. Go on. Hoping for that shot to connect, but he knows he's downhotted. Who's going to be crawling away, begging for mercy? It feels so bad. This happened to him yesterday. This feels so bad, and now he just knows. Nope. I accept my fate. Scopes in, puts a bullet in the back of his head. And Hoyt is the second player to be eliminated from the server. Now people still on the looting phase. There's no real reason to move yet. We said before, look at how central that circle is. Angus still seems a little unaware as to where he can get to from this. Oh, too Stody, you oh, gonna... oh, Stody oh. is about for his to destroy them. You've got the vertical advantage. You've got it all. Lay it down. Here we go. Sprays in. That's Roms down. Looking for the flop on the teammate. He's going to get the tag, but not the frag. Backs away. He's got time. He doesn't need to rush this. You... Oh, 60. What is that shot? Vertical just destroys his helmet. That is perfect play from this man. This is one of the guys to come through the qualifier. So you can expect very good individual play from him. And now they've lost visuals on them. They've lost visuals on the two new guys to this one. Chipsy down there as well, spots them again, again on the rocks. Oh, takes down Roms. Roms is wound wounded. He's the walking wounded at this point. So hard for him to do anything here. So again, spamming out the nades. For them, if they get out of this situation, it'd be a miracle. You're literally walking up a hill that's so hard to get out of. These guys have the advantage on every single front. So again, if they manage anything in this one, Sixty to me, you're an MVP for landing that shot on Stody. I don't expect you to do anything else. I don't, but we could have the same scenario as we saw a few games ago, where if he just stays there, then maybe they have no idea where he is. They could potentially walk There's away and say, okay, him he disappeared. Wait, are they swimming? That's Cross and Drifter. <sighs> They're just chilling. Well, there, we don't want to go near it, and I don't blame them. So right now you're hearing a couple of cars going around. Oh, you've just driven up. Molvan has got delivery, and that's the Noble team. He takes down one easily, doesn't overextend. Where's his teammate? He needs the support right now. And on the flank, it's oh Scoom. My. What brilliant positioning from these guys. That's incredible. He just left him as bait, and all of a sudden Scoom walks up and just says, OK, I'm here. It's time for joining the party as well. Wipes out his teammate, and both of them will fall. Looking at the kill feed as well. Unfortunately, Killer Kapowski, she will fall. So would Liquid. There's still pressure here. In fact, Hayes is now knocked out as well. So Ollie went down earlier on. Now Hayes is down. Solid FPS Ooh, kills both shots. players. Two players down. That's WTCN and Mithrain. Both of them fall to yep. Cloud9. Yeah. Right, OK. So the two got battles the high going ground. on. We jump back. Drassel knocks out Solid FPS. So that's LG once again going up against C9. We saw previous TSM, though, the lockdown on the beach. We got Panda here. We got Mu and Tavalio. MPR, he at least nails Mu pretty hard. Now we force him back Look into a aggression. corner. This is what TSM do best. They just push out. They smell Look. blood, and they want it. Breaks on full auto. And oh, his teammate just got punished. It's all on break to deliver. He needs to come up with the goods right about now. No tags on the first. He goes in. The spray. No! Oh, he gets completely outdone. Panda destroy TSM. That is huge work for them. They accept the challenge. They say, bring it on, boys. TSM, unfortunately, they will fall. Meanwile, in no man's land, Oshi Seven's still alive. And he's found Has himself he a crate. A crate here? I, wonder, I don't see any, like, Is there uh, in it? dropped loot on the floor. Yes, an M24. <laughs> that's great. He needs to get into the safety zone here. Back on Bobo Mumino. He's still he's doing damage. Another. He's still trying to work his way in, though. He's going to be careful with blue. And he is going to get another kill here. Great work from him. Running low on ammo, but still well within the fight. Cautious aware. He knows there's going to be more people around here. But he has the high ground. And he's actually pretty well set for now. But let's see this one. Everyone towards the south needs to move back up north. This is the crunch point. This is a big chunk of the buildings with cover still in it. Otherwise, we're going to be out in the open. This is going to be great. They've tried to make cover, and it's not simply good enough. 22 remain alive, and this is going to get exciting now. It's time to run. Stone Mountain knows he's in trouble, dodging, weaving, dipping, and diving. But how can he survive this? The Panda guys are tagged up low as well. Liquid have him on the ropes. One's knocked out. This could be all but over, surely. No, oh, this is just insane. 20 remain. 18, 16. It's going down. Mole Man finally avenges everything. All that damage coming through, all those helmets he lost. He takes down Mu, so Panda now struggling. They're out of this one, down to 16. The new circle sits well with Liquid. Still got Drassel on his tail. They're working as a team, but they've been spotted out in the yard. We can see them there, they're going down. They're all He's tagged land up. the shot. One gets knocked, at least. Echo comes in, two kills. See you later, he will fall. Spygear is no more. And that's what you alive. get for staying in the shack for so long. There's almost no cover here as well. They're moving into a circle where it's going to be a hell of a lot of fights. Sweat is up for the challenge. You can see his movement coming into factory. He doesn't want to open up because he'll give away his spot, but he's going to have to make his mind up. Do I take the fight? Do I try and get into the circle? There's going to be someone right in front of him. He needs to do it right now. Oh, Sweater, he 
waited too long. He was trying to play it to the right time. Now down to 10. This is going to kick off. Scoom still in this one, still fighting it out. Liquid are staying alive as a duo. This could be their game. That's the big problem. And he can take the stim. He's going to wait for this. And here we go. One shot girl gets out the window and he spots it. He sprays. He gets the kill. He gets the second. Stack goes down. He's playing out of his mind here. Six kills. He wants this one himself. There's the two players proning on the defilade. They're playing the long game here. If they spot him out, that could be it. He can see them. Oh, and he can see them all. Oh my he God. spots the edge of them. He's got to move in. He has to move into the open and take a gamble, take a risk. Oh, oh and Andy. Andy is going out of his mind right now. Seven kills and he will not stop. It's a 1v2, I'm pretty sure now for him. Spots out one, trying to crawl his way in. It's going to be down to the 1v1. Nade comes through, he needs to back. Andy, run away. Don't get hit by the nade. Readjust. It's now down to the 1v1. Andy is on fire as we speak. But the spray comes through. Where is he? Oh, oh he gets Andy. it. Hiding in the grass. He spots him, puts a bullet in him and finish it. Incredible work from Andy Pyro. Staying alive so long, watching the houses, waiting for people to challenge. What a way to win that game. Amazing Absolute work. Beast. Amazing players, amazing shots. They are just talented at this game. And that's something to be very proud of. And uh, you can walk away happy with that sort of performance and, and what you've done here. That's a great lot of money as well, bear in mind. This isn't all for free. You, know, you, get, you get a fair chunk of uh, cash for this one. So well done to them for putting up a great performance. So there's Andy Pyro and Forza. Never lucky will take third place. Moving into second place, as Pansy mentioned. This is Copenhagen Flames. That's going to be Avenge and Pony Rider. And then finally, Cloud9. They sealed the deal. They were playing absolutely stellar, stellar work in game number two. And they claim a victory. They walk home with $30,000. Going to be chappy and solid FPS. Amazing work by these two young gentlemen. Yeah, no, they played so, so well.